Welcome to Dr. Jensen Runs, and I'm gonna rant about this. Well, do you remember this mod over here in Nexus for Marvel Spider-Man Remastered for compu uh, for the PC, computers, thing like that? That it got taken down because uh, a bunch of little snowflakes got triggered because it replaced the Newtonian flag in New York. Remember that? Uploaded by Mike Hawk. Yeah, my cock. My cock really has a tendency to go and do things without me noticing. But, well, that's what uh, smart cocks do, right? Right. Well, it got a tad bit worse. Let me go and show you what I mean. No, wait, no. No, 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 no. First and foremost, this one. Ah, the oops. No, nope. wrong button. There you go. I'm off my game today. Right, on Twitter, apparently, the, apparently they removed pride, apply, Jesus Christ, pride flags in Spider-Man. Their master PC is just something that activates the texture used in the Arabic and Middle Eastern localizations. That means nothing else. So it's not leaving more of a mod, more like activating the Arabic version. Because as you all well aware and know, it's um, that region doesn't view too kindly on the rainbow people, on the alphabet people. But don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that out loud, because the rainbow people, or, you know, alphabet people, are gonna get triggered because they actually defend the Arabs and Middle East. It makes zero sense, so don't ask me how, how or why. But either way, the mod is actively for now, at the time of this recording, uh, let's see, it's still there, it's still here. It's still available on mod and mod DB. Still there if you're interested. I'll probably share a link down below in the comment section. If not the comment section. In the description of the video, if I recall. But uh, like I said, it got worse. Here is uh, the um, uh, the opinion of Nexus mods. Here is what they said. Flag bots and us. I knew. Here is a retarded shit they said. I'm gonna go and read in a normal voice, otherwise my voice is gonna get shot. Right. Quote. Recently there's been some silly drama on our site that was sparked by someone uploading a mod for Spider-Man Remastered. The mod replaced a very few... I don't think it's considered very few, but still, it's their opinion. Pride flags the game actually has with the already prevalent US flag texture from the game. So, once again, no problem in that. And as you know, it doesn't quite a replace, more like very much likely activate the Arabic and Middle Eastern version of the game, in which uh, the pride flag is illegal. The mod was removed from Nexus mods and the, the author was banned, because, of course, that's what they do. The address uh, to address the banning, which was a lot, which is what a lot of people want to focus on. The mod was uploaded by a sock puppet account. I wonder why they did that. Want to know why? First and foremost, cancellation. Secondly, you would ban the account in a newly made account by someone who already has an account on the site and upload it under the name Mike Hawk. Sorry, Mike Hawk. It was a very clearly done deliberately to be a troll mod. No, not quite. The fact that the user needed to make a Sock Puppet account, a uh, Sock Puppet like a coward to upload the mod, showed their intent to troll on what they knew it would not be allowed. Ah, so they're already telling you that the mod would never be allowed. And let me put it this way. Even if he uploaded with his official account, he would have been banned. No questions asked. Wanna know why? Because Nexus mod is run by a bunch of triggered nobodies. You know, it's infested with the pronoun people, the woke mob, the woke mafia, the woke inquisition. So, regardless, he would have been banned. 
There's no way you can walk this on out. No way to, for you to sugarcoat it. You would have been banned regardless. Anyway, let's go. Eh, let's just do that. Had they not been a coward and had they not used their money, had they used their main account instead, we would have simply removed the mod and told them that them that we did not want to host it. Lies. We know very much that they would have banned the main official account. No ifs, no buts. It would have been banned. Anyway, only banning them if they re-uploaded it again after being fairly warned. Lies once again. We know how these people work. We know that the mods in the Nexus website may actually even be mods on Reciterra or, or even share their ideology. We all know what will happen. They would have banned him regardless. The creation of the sock puppet removed any doubt and made it very easy decision for us. Now you wanna bet that if this thing with the sock puppet account did not actually happen, they would have said they and the, the author uploaded a very troll, obvious troll mod, so we banned him outright and left us no options. Wanna bet that that was going to be the message if that suck, if that puppet did not uh, account? Um, Jesus Christ, did that puppet did not happen? Both the suck puppet account and the user main account have been banned. In regards to the replacement of the pride flags in this game or any game, our policy is thus. We are for inclusivity, we are for diversity. Ah, so it's okay to replace the other flags. Hmm. On that note, if you are for inclusivity and not replacement. Hmm, I wonder what this is. From Nexus Mods, colorful New York. It replaced out. Look, replace. Replaces the Star Wars Stripe flags with the Pride flag for a more vibrant New York. Oh, replaces a uh, healthy star back up the ass of the game and install using episode damn vibrant New York. Mwah. So, is this thing still allowed in here? Was this banned? Well, call me Shirley, slap me silly, and call me Shirley after you give me goddamn fucking schlong box. It's still here! Why am I not surprised? Hmm, let's check the comment section, the posts. Comments locked! Ah, well, of course it was locked! Moderator has closed the comment topics for the, for the time being. Uh, uh, thank you! Thank you for the, the, the mod! Oh, no, sorry. Uh, thank you for this mod. That's a good one. That thanks. Oh. No problems um i mean nothing against it uh, or anything of the sort or anything else jesus christ this is allowed where's the diversity of the american people no no that's forbidden when what is the website what is the goddamn piece of shit you piece of god ah, there you go of course, he had to go away. Right. If we think someone is uploading a mod on our side with the intent to deliberately be against inclusivity or diversity, then we will take action against it. So anything, anything changing or uh, that changes your own game that is optional is not going to be allowed. But you need to force diversity by exclusion. That is allowed. Don't you think that makes you a hypocrite, Nexus Mods? Because it feels like a hypocrite. And quite frankly, I think you guys should go fuck yourself with a very large pineapple and you should contract the goddamn flock fucking schlong box. I'm kidding. Don't do that. It's a joke, you morons. Right. Let's go. The same goes for people attempting to troll their users with mods deliberately to cause a rise. Why is that mod still allowed then? For our part, we will endeavor to do a better job of moderating our website to this us ourselves. Once again, I'm not seeing any change on that. We are the authority on what users can and cannot mod. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can force others, especially other websites, by peer pressure. Us removing a mod only means it cannot be found at Nexus mods. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh. 
So that means you're advocating for a certain. Mm. So only mods that subscribe to the regressive ideology is allowed. Thank you for telling me that. We also know that we are not the only website that has removed this mod from the platform. Ah, there you go. Guys, you're just doing what the other websites are doing, so... Mm? As a private business, we have a right to choose what content we do and do not want to host in our platform. Respect this right the same way you want to respect for your rights. I don't think they respect our rights. In fact, from what I have seen here, you guys are hypocrites. And, uh, let's go. If you feel something goes against our policy, then please report it. You mean the policy that only far-left ideological items allowed? Hmm. Well, we will be the educators on what we do or do not think is appropriate for Nexus mods, and, and that goes for everyone, no matter where they stand left, right, up, and down. Yeah, no, it's only left... left leftist mods are allowed, I'm sorry. You can try to sugarcoat it here, but, uh, it won't. We don't want to or won't argue this with you. We are now explaining our stance that we won't be providing a platform for you to distort our position or to feed an irrational paranoid narrative. Isn't that exactly what you're doing? You can do that elsewhere, where we won't care enough to read it. Ah, Boo-hoo! This... That paragraph in here, if everything else in this comment wasn't just a big massive fat fucking cope that paragraph in there is the source of the cope jesus christ dude you're trying to cope here this thing is like a big mouthing being so mad and brooding and yeah. jesus Anyway, if this policy upsets you, if bronking some moral code of conduct is a business that you can't accept, then please delete your account but option and move on, as we will. You know what? Don't delete your account. Keep it. Do the best thing you can do in a website that is so regressive. Use ad blockers. I know they probably have a website in here with uh, lots of ads in which you can go and do your sh retarded shenanigans. Oh, well, but uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I am not going to stop doing the right thing and using ad blockers. You will be subjected to ad blockers. The best thing you can do for websites like Nexus Mods and BuzzFeed or Washington Post is use ad blockers. That is... You take out uh, take out all the data, for instance, downloading a very large mod, you download it and everything, and you don't get to pay anything for it because the ad is not going to be shown on your computer. You fuck them up, and they lose money. That's the best thing you can do, is make them regret doing their goddamn fucking shit nonsense. Use ad blockers. Make them regret doing this to you. Make them regret. Exactly. Make them regret. For fucking things up. Make them lose money by using ad blockers. Don't want as many mods as you goddamn fucking want. But use ad blockers. Always. On all websites like that, even GameBanana.com and things like that, use ad blockers. Right, on that goddamn fucking hell, I hope this is the last thing I have to actually do to cover this goddamn retarded Nexus mod. Have a great fucking night.